Marsha, the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can go. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. How good is that right here? A oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. And they separate. Single collar tie now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice punch, man. Over the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. of his own. I guess it pays to be the longer fighter, at least it certainly did there. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Frankie just misses with that left hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh. remain in the round. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Edgar. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. So 41 total strikes have landed for Frank Yates. Continues to circle. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Andrew. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right here. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Throwing that jab now again, the fire of eggs. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there.
right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we are, early round two. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Johnson. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Just misses there with the left. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, Superman punch! Oh, straight punch lands flush on the counter. Nice deception with his footwork. And again, a broken record when it comes to the reach advantage. Certainly helped him out there. on the ground, that's very important. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Edgar. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Edgar going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. This is like double A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike, but to be with him like this it only exhausts you because every moment he's trying to throw to knock the opponent out, you just catch an air. It, it doesn't feel good. It's also embarrassing. <laughs> oh, and the Superman punch is good. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by it. Just out of range with the big right hand. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice straight punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Single follow tie there. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, nice jab there by Edgar. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. What a punch. Superman punch is good. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and two. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, 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 oh. That was a jab! Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign. Oh! Well, there are a 
few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Hey, stop! That's what I'm talking about. This is all you like. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Third round underway. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, what a he wants you to feel. Uh, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh oh. Up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's gonna get stuck and he will have to submit. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Johnson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Johnson gets back up again. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Just missed with the straight left hand. Edgar gets caught with that punch. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Edgar gets the takedown there. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh! Oh, straight right! Oh! He's hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. Back to the feet! Position. Edgar gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta show up the defense here, though. Oh, the record is on repeat. Wash and rinse over and over again. It's takedown after takedown. Edgar's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Well, he keeps going. Ooh. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Lands a punch there. Oh, he just started looking to finish over. Good level change. He so. went single, rotated head outside, just keep going. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. And they separate. Well placed kick there by Edgar. to 
tonight, but we're going to get to some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 18 seconds of the third round, we're playing the winner by knockout.